Ashlyn here. Welcome back to another one of our DIY series. Today, I'm gonna to be making conductive dough, or as we like to call it, electrolytes. So here are all of my materials. I've got some vinegar. It looks like water, but if you can smell it, you can tell it's vinegar right away. Some regular table salt, flour, food coloring to make it fun, of course, and some of my circuitry stuff. So. When I say this is a conductive dough, I mean it's a dough that can be part of a circuit. It can conduct like a train conductor, choo-choo, or carry the electricity. So for that first step, I'm going to measure out 15 milliliters of my vinegar, and I'm gonna mix in my salt. So what I'm doing when I mix in my salt and my vinegar is I'm creating an electrolyte. Electrolytes are kind of like electrons. So they're negatively charged ions or little tiny particles that are all around the world. Have you ever maybe rubbed your hands on the carpet or gone down a slide and then you touch someone and you feel that shock? Those are the electrons rubbing off. Electrons are also what we use to make electricity, to make our lights turn on, our computers, all those things. Lightning is also made from when a lot of loose electrons are in the air and gather. And kind of cool, scientists don't know exactly why that happens. But it's pretty interesting. So as I'm mixing this up here, I'm trying to dissolve the salt in here to make those electrolytes. You may have heard of electrolytes when you are playing a sport, maybe you sweat a lot, because we sweat out salt in our body. We need that salt back in through healthy sports drinks, pickle juice, things like that. Except this I'm not gonna drink because vinegar and lemonade, nope, not vinegar and lemonade because vinegar and salt doesn't taste very good. No, no, no. All right, I had that mixed in all the way. I'm gonna add some green food coloring to make it a little more fun. Um, like my coworker, John, green is my favorite color. And then for my flour, I'm gonna add in just a little bit at a time. So maybe you've made Play-Doh before and all you actually need is flour and water. Again, the vinegar and the salt is what's gonna make this conductive or kind of like electric dough. If you've ever been to the Children's Science Center before, we have a slime piano here. Our slime piano uses slime as a conductor. Slime is a pretty good conductor because it has borax and water in it. All right, so you can see that my dough is still kind of a mush there. So I'm going to add even more flour. I like to add the flour a little bit at a time because if I add the flour all at once, it might get too dry. So I'm gonna keep adding in flour until it's a little bit more of a solid. So kind of like a Play-Doh. All right, it's coming together here. So I'm gonna take it out into my bowl so I don't get too messy. And again, you don't need food coloring for this experiment. It just makes it a little more fun. And I'm gonna smush it all together. Technically, Vinegar, salt, and flour are all edible, but again, it wouldn't taste very good, so I'm not gonna eat this. All right, so I have my dough, which will be my conductor to conduct or carry the electricity, but let's see if I can get a circuit or a circle of electricity going first. So for a circuit, you need a power source. I'm going to use a battery. You need some wires or conductors and you also need a thing that's gonna happen. So I have a light and a motor that I'm gonna try out. All right, so first I'm going to connect my battery to the wires, and then I'm going to connect my output or what I'm trying to make happen to my wires. All right, so now I have my circuit. You can see there is energy or electricity coming from here passing through the wires into the light, lighting it up, passing back through this metal part of the wires and going through like that. If I disconnect, the light will go off. Now let's see, instead of having the wires touch here, if I can have my dough touch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll my dough out really, really long and thin, like a little snake, and I'm gonna push that wire in there, and I'm gonna push that wire in here. And look, it's not working. That's because it has to go through all this dough. Our flour is a resistor, which means it's kind of gonna resist or stop or slow down that electricity. But as I push the wires closer together, do you see the little spark? It's not as bright as it was before, but there still is a spark there. Let's see, and I push them closer and closer and closer. It gets brighter and brighter and brighter. So our dough is working to help transfer or carry that electricity. Now let's try it with some different power outlets. 
All right, so now I'm gonna try a little motor. And as I connect this on there, you can see it spin. So I have the dough at the bottom here connecting those things together. Stop. And then it spins again. So not only can it make a light light up, it can make a motor spin. Pretty cool. Let's try one more. All right, now I have a speaker. Let's see, I have it connected here using my fingers to hold those wires together. Let's put it in our dough. Oh my goodness, do you hear that? It's kind of like an alarm. And you see this one works even when the dough's spread out. So that means this one doesn't need as much, much electricity as the dough or the light did. All right guys, thanks for making your own conductive dough with me. Let us know how it works in the comments down below. See you next time. Hope this was electrifying.